I'm back. Okay, I'm back. I was gone for a while. I can explain. Okay, so I was in Georgia for the past like a little over a week, and uh, I was like with family member and my family went there and we were like spending time with family and friends and I didn't want to upload videos there I literally couldn't upload videos there because I didn't have the equipment and I also wanted to spend time with the people we were with so I wasn't uploading because I have a life well not really but kind of but I'm uploading now um and that's like over the summer I kind of do a lot of stuff like that so I can't consistently upload but uh, I don't think I'm doing anything else like that for the rest of the summer so I'm back for a good while so uh, sorry about that but we're back now anyways let's get into the video <laughs> Okay guys, that's why I haven't been uploading, but let's get on to the video. So in this video, I will be inking this picture of the Hulk right here. Uh, this is just a rough sketch, as you can see, but um, I'm going to be inking it and kind of taking you guys through the process of how I ink it, um, and you can follow along if you want to at home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, I hope you learned something, let's get into this. Alright, so I'm starting off with... Uh, doing his face so um pretty much what inking is is well i'm using micron pens for this and uh pretty much you just get a pen right um yeah just whatever you want whatever kind of pen you want and uh you go over the lines that you did with your sketch or you go over the sketch lines that you did with the pen and uh, kind of make them look a little more clean um for, so it looks like a finished product and so that's what i'm doing with the face here i uh went over all the lines and now i'm going in with the shading and uh, there's not a whole lot of shading with uh, this picture because um for, well, it's not a whole lot of shading with the face uh, because he, uh, the, the light source, there's an arrow right there, um, as you can see, and that's where the light source is coming from. So the reason I made that arrow look a little bit 3D is because it's kind of coming from the right side, but a little bit in front of him. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the angle of, uh, the light, so it's kind of facing directly to his face. So it's, uh, there's not a lot of shade on his face, or, yeah, not a lot of shading on his face. And, um, so I did the hair right there, and I wasn't exactly happy with it, but I ended up fixing it later on. And, uh, so I'm kind of getting into, like, the back muscles and the muscles around his face. You'll notice that his face looks really small compared to the rest of his body. Uh, that's just because, uh, I kind of like to draw him like that because, yeah, it just makes his muscles look even bigger. So, uh, yeah, I'm going in with, uh, sharpie to kind of fix up the hair a little bit i did the best i could but uh yeah i don't think the hair looked too bad and uh i'm using the sharpie again to go into the shadows or do the shadows and uh i'm also using a kind of thicker micron pen to get the finer shadows and the sharpie i just use a sharpie to get the broad shadows uh, and you can use that like whatever you're using like a brush pen or a sharpie uh, to kind of get the more broad shadows and then use a kind of finer pen to do the more fine stuff and the more precise stuff. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. And um, so I'm getting the areas around his, uh, getting his shoulders. And um, so pretty much how this works is you just shade different uh, you, you shade, so what I'm doing in this picture is I'm shade, I'm going in with like different sections. So first I did his face, and now I'm kind of doing like the muscles around his face. And uh, then I'm going to go into his arms and then his torso and stuff. But you don't need to do it like that, you can kind of just jump around if you want to. Like do his face, and then his torso, and then his arms, or, or kind of like do different parts of the body at the same time. It doesn't have to be like in sections, uh, I just decided to do it in sections for this video. Uh, because I just wanted to switch things up a bit. And as you just saw there, I was doing some cross-hatching on uh, his muscles. Um, cross-hatching is pretty much just like kind of lines going out of the shadows into the light, kind of bringing the shadows out. And I just uh, drew the lines for his uh, right, yeah, right arm over there. No, his left arm, sorry. 
And uh, so his left arm is pretty far away from the light, so I want to make that pretty dark. I just it's, so pretty much what you do is you go over all your sketch lines, um, which is kind of easy. You're just tracing the sketch lines that you already did, um, and then you get uh, you start doing the shading, which is what I'm doing right now. And uh, so the the forearm muscles, uh, that forearm muscle that I'm shading right there is pretty dark because it's the furthest away from the light and uh, all the other forearm muscles are putting a cast shadow on it. And a uh, cast shadow is just like, if you were to put your hand on top of a, ta on top of a table, you would see a shadow and uh, that shadow would be a cast shadow. It's just the shadow. Like if, like if something's on top of something, then there's a shadow down under it, if that makes sense. So that's what a cast shadow is. So uh, yeah, I did, did all the shading there, and now I'm doing the cross hatching again. So that's pretty much how it works. You just go over everything with the pen, and then do the shading, and then across the cross hatching. So cross hatching is uh, kind of, it, it, you don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Pretty much you're doing lines that like come out of the shadow, you make them thick like right, right when you drawing them by the shadow and then as they get further away from the shadow they get lighter and lighter until they kind of blend in with the light areas so um, that's the purpose of it is kind of just to drag out the shadow um, again it's you, you don't have to do it but um, I would recommend trying it out just to uh, uh, see if you like it and uh, so I'm doing the hand right here uh, same steps just going over it with a pen and uh, now I'm doing the shading um, and so yeah it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it all the shad shadowing and cross hatching the first step of just going over your sketch lines with a pen is easy it's just as I said tracing what you've already done um, but then the shading is, and the cross hatching is pretty hard and shading at the beginning is kind of hard because uh, you have to kind of learn how light works and um, like um, you can kind of have to like look at other artists or um, just look at real life and uh, see how the lighting works and eventually get the hang of it and uh, yeah so that's pretty hard but so I just finished his hand right there and now I'm moving on to his right arm and uh, so you know, tracing over all the lines all my sketch lines and uh, yeah so now I'm getting in with the shading um, so it's pretty repetitive, um, but it also it kind of switch. It's not too repetitive because, like, with every different part of the body, it's like different parts of the body are closer or further away from the light. So this arm is going to be less shaded because it's closer to the arrow that I have there. Um, but it's, uh, uh, yeah. So that's uh, you just have to keep that in mind when you're doing the shading and when you're inking. Um, so, but as I said, eventually you get the hang of it and it's not that hard. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just kind of doing some fine lines and making, doing, kind of making it look better. And I'm about to get into the cross hatching. But one thing you should do after you lay down your lines with the pen, uh, or like once you're going over your, the sketch lines with your pen, once you've got, gone over those lines, you should erase the sketch lines to kind of make it more of a clean look and then start going into the shadows and the cross hatching i forgot to erase the uh sketch lines right there so uh but i didn't get them and so now i'm doing the hand uh going in with the details um so one tip about hands is the fingers progressively get like higher so the pinky finger is pretty low and then the next finger is higher up and then the next finger goes higher uh, until you get to the index finger and then the thumb is kind of rounded around all those fingers as you can see there and uh, so I'm shading the knuckles here and on all the fingers and as you can see the pinky finger is very shaded in it's like completely dark because of because as I said it's the lowest finger and because of that it, uh, all the other fingers put a cast shadow on it which uh, makes it th the darkest finger. So uh, yeah, I did the cross hatching right there for the fingers. And so now I'm going into the torso. Same steps uh, again. Um, I'm going over the construction lines and once I finish going over the construction lines with my pen, I'm gonna erase those. And uh, so um, once again, I've been going in steps with the, uh, in this picture, but you don't need to do that. You can kind of jump around. 
but uh, I've actually, after trying going in, oh, uh, I'm erasing the construction lines right there, but um, after trying drawing this, or drawing a picture with uh, j kind of j uh, not jumping around, kind of doing it like in order, I guess, like doing different parts of the body at different times, I kind of prefer jumping around, but you know, it was good trying it out, and you should di always try different things out with art, because you never know what you're gonna like, um, and I didn't really like it that much. Uh, so yeah, you can try jump, just jumping around and doing different parts at different times, or uh, you can try doing it in a more organized way, like I am here. Whatever you like more. So I'm doing the shading here, um, shading the different muscles. Uh, there's a lot of muscles in the torso area, and I don't know the names of most of them. I'm not very good at knowing names, but with art, you don't really need to know the names of muscles. You just need to know where they are and how they look. I mean, I guess it could be helpful to know the names, but knowing the names isn't really going to help you be better at drawing them. It's not going to do like anything good or bad for you, really, if you know the names. I guess, since I am teaching this, I probably should know the names, <laughs> but uh, uh, if you've seen any of my vi previous videos, you know that I don't know the names of a lot of muscles. But um, I'm uh, kind of doing some cross-hatching on the pecs over here. I do know the name of that. And uh, so, yeah, the, again, the, that's the repetitive, again, for the same steps over and over again, but it's, it's pretty fun. So the uh, torso is pretty, uh, the light is hitting it pretty much, it's like the torso is being pretty much directly hit by the light, so there's not too much shading. I'm trying to shade mostly the left side of the torso, which is where the light's hitting. And uh, so as you just saw, uh, I skipped, I just drew a bunch of construction lines for the uh, leg, or, yeah, for the legs, but I didn't show that because I was just penciling, and this video, this video is about uh, inking, so I might make a video about inking, I mean penciling later, but uh, I didn't want to show, show that part because that's not what this video is about, but I'm going over with my micron pens over the sketch lines that I did, and this is the kind of fun, relaxing part. It doesn't take that much uh, brain power, you don't have to think that much, you just I'm just going over the lines that I've already done. So I think you guys get the point by now of uh, how to do this. Um, you just kind of go over the lines that you did, or go over your sketch lines with a pen, and then erase your sketch lines after that. Then do the shadowing and then the cross hatching. You don't need to do the cross hatching again, um, but I would recommend trying it, and if you don't like it, uh, then you don't have to do it. Just like I tried out. Um, doing the inking, like I, I wasn't, I haven't been jumping around for this video, or I haven't been jumping around while doing this inking, I've been doing it in more of a like orderly way, and I didn't really like that that much, and uh, so I'm probably not going to do that again. Uh, same with cross hatching, you can try it out, if you don't like it that much, you don't have to do it again, uh, but it's always worth trying it, just in case you do like it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done with uh, going over all my lines, and so I'm getting an eraser over here and uh, erasing all the construction lines that I did with my pencil uh, to make it more of a clean line, because uh, you don't want the construction lines to be in the uh, you don't want the construction lines to be visible in the end product. So I'm getting an electric eraser here, kind of getting more finer details. And now I'm doing, uh, I have my, a micron pen out again, a thicker one, to do the shadowing on the, so like, his pants, Hulk's pants kind of like loop up towards the top, so I'm doing the shadowing on that. And uh, so yeah, I think you guys get the point by now, um, so I'm just going to let you guys watch this, and I'm going to get back to you guys uh, when I start doing the cross hatching. <laughs>
right about now, I'm going to start doing the cross hatching for his leg, as you can see there, um, or on his pants. Uh, I like doing Hulk's pants because it's like really skin tight, so there's not a whole lot of like, just like the shading is pretty much just normal shading. You don't have to like make it look like clothes. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so the cross hatching is uh, just the same as the cross hatching that I would have been doing for the rest of the body. It really no difference. Um, so yeah, now I'm going into the shading on his right leg. <laughs> yeah, his right leg. And uh, yeah, so I'm about to get into the cross hatching for that. hatching for his right leg, uh, just following the same steps that I did for his left leg and the rest of his body. So I hope you guys enjoyed this picture and uh, I hope you learned some stuff. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching that video of me drawing or inking Hulk smash, Hulk smash the subscribe button. That, that, that was an attempt, it was, it, was, it was a pretty good attempt, it was not, wasn't that bad, but yeah, smash the subscribe button, just like my man Hulk over here has following his footsteps he does have some big feet and um yeah so i hope you learned some stuff from this and you enjoyed uh the process of how i inked this and shaded it and that you learned how to do some shading and cross hatching and all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next video uh thank you very much for watching again smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications uh so you can be notified when my next video comes out and when all my videos come out and you you won't be disappointed because they are some banger videos anyways uh thanks for watching my hair hasn't been done for the past like 24 hours but that's okay i feel comfortable with you guys uh, i'll see you in my, in my next video